Let's create this chatbot interface using only Python and the Streamlit library. In this video, I'm going to walk you through this script over here that we got. I'm going to share this with you. The code will also be made available via GitHub so you can follow along. And this is ideal for Python developers like me who work on AI applications, but don't have the front end skills of let's say JavaScript, HTML, CSS, all of that stuff to build fancy applications. So here are the step-by-step -step instructions. You can also go to the official Streamlit docs to get a little bit of a better understanding what's going on. Here's the link to the GitHub repository. So let's start with a new and fresh project. Make sure you have a virtual environment or Conda environment. I have one set up over here. You can clone that uh, exactly from the GitHub repository. Then we're going to install the dependencies, which are Streamlit, OpenAI, and Python.env. So you can either pip install this into your environment, or you could just run the requirements.txt file over here, get everything set up. All right, then you can do a little test to see if Streamlit is working properly. By opening up a terminal, make sure your environment is activated, and then run Streamlit hello. So let's see what we got going on. And here we have the local host spin up with the welcome to Streamlit. If you see the screen as well, then that uh, means that the Streamlit library is configured correctly. And now if you've been following along up until this point, then make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the channel so you stay tuned for more AI content. All right, let's continue with step two. You need a .env file with your OpenAI API key. Now I have an example.env file over here, and this is my main one. What you can do is you can come over here, just rename this, just remove the example part and fill in your OpenAI API key in here and then save that. You should now create an app.py file in your library. So you can either clone the repository that I got, and then you should already have all the code over here. Or if you build it from scratch, um, you should use this file name. And now we're going to add the imports. So let's start with the imports that we need. So we got a bunch and mainly also Streamlit. Uh, we're going to use Shelf to store the messages, which is a quite interesting way uh, and a cool Python library to do all of that. Now let's do the setup and I'm going to walk you kind of like high level to what's going on over here, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. We can give our page a title sorry before that we load our environment variable which is our OpenAI api key then we can set some icons for the chat interfaces so either for the user and the bot and then we load up our OpenAI client so that's the setup and now we're going to configure model and messages so let's come over here plug that in let's quickly see what's going on over here we have the load chat history which will be loading a chat history.db file so this is something we will run upon initiating the application. And we also have a function to store the messages in here. And then we can initialize it over here. So if there are no messages in the state, we load the messages. And we also add a nice little sidebar to our application with a delete button. Okay. And now we can come to the main chat interface that we're building out. And again, if you want to learn or better understand what's going on over here, Make sure to check out the docs so you can see the chat elements, what we're doing, how they're working. But for now, I'm just going to quickly show you how we can set this up. So I'll put that in here as well. So that will make sure that we have all of the code, let's see, within our application. And now what we can do is streamlit run app.py. Now, make sure that app.py is the actual name of your file. If you've used another name, then you should update that over there. So let's again, open up the terminal, make sure we're in the correct environment and load this up, Streamlit run app. And here you can see it correctly loaded the conversation that we were having in the beginning. Now I can also delete this and say again, hi there. And the cool thing is that it has history. And this is something that is not shown in the basic example uh, over here. So that's something I add it and you can also do cool things like show data. So you can show a bar chart and there is a lot more actually that you can do with this library. So that's pretty cool. Now, of course, this is a very simple demo, but I wanted to show you this because for me, it was very useful because I had to create a demo for one of my clients that I'm working with to showcase some generative AI projects. And 
I've worked on a bunch, but a lot of those are also, for example, integrated within Slack or within WhatsApp. And I wanted to create something custom where I could show the client what potential use cases of generative AI could be. And this for me was a way to quickly set it up on my own without relying on a front end developer. So this just uses the ChatGPT uh, 3.5 Turbo model right now. So it's essentially a ChatGPT like clone that you got going on right now. But of course, you can make this a little more fancy and for example, hook it up via Langchain and do all kinds of crazy things with this to really build in that AI functionality even more. Now, if you want to learn more about that, you can follow this link. It also shows you how to deploy this app. And now, if you want to learn more about how you integrate your own data, for example, into this bot using the OpenAI Assistance API, if you want to learn more about that, then make sure to check out this video next.